Hi, it's Tara Green and it's November 21st and it's a very big day today as you can see astrologically. Uh, Venus enters Scorpio, so she is now in her not in good straits there, being in Mars's house. Now that is old a fashion astrology which says that when a planet is in the sign opposite the one it rules, then it's not good. And Venus rules Taurus, of course, so Scorpio is opposite Taurus and Scorpio belongs to Mars, so it could be a very good loved up time for Scorpios and for Tauruses actually, even though they're opposites, opposites attract. So love, values, women, the divine feminine, uh, what else does Venus rule? Relationships get very sexy, very deep, very intense, very obsessive, very emotional. Okay, so we've gone from the light kind of Venus in Libra to now Venus in Scorpio. So if you have any issues with your reproductive system, which Scorpio rules, you know, Venus can kind of stir that up a little bit. You might find your cycles being off. Uh, and definitely we're turning on our X-ray vision there. That's what Scorpio is all about. So Venus comes along with her girdle and her flirtiness and her beauty and her creativity and she rules money, and so does Scorpio, so inheritance, taxes, the stock market, everything um, that relates to Venus, so copper, um, you know, all the different attributes that Venus has comes alive here, so uh, get your sexy on, get your psyche on, do your psychological work, do your transformative work while Venus is in Scorpio. Now, the sun also moves from Scorpio into Sagittarius, okay, also today. And so generally this is the darkest time of the year in the Northern Hemisphere, so Sagittarius comes along to bring us some joviality named after the Roman planet Jove who rules Sagittarius, that's Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. So time to get optimistic, get happy, you know, yeah, we're gonna get through this, you know, no matter how dark it seems or whatever's going on in the world right now, more lockdowns. COVID-19, all that stuff. It is Thanksgiving next week uh, in the U.S. as well. So Sagittarius got to have some humor, optimism, got to have faith, baby, that Sagittarius. So honesty, justice, Sagittarians are very frustrated like I am that we cannot travel, um, although there are people traveling. I hear planes going by. I'm in Toronto, a big city here, uh, heading in for a lockdown again. But anyway, got to be optimistic. You want to study, you want to learn, you want to travel in your mind, even if you're not going anywhere physically, and you want to, you know, hang out with other people who are philosophical, so that's a good thing too, okay, and love your pets, Sagittarius loves pets. Now, the moon enters Pisces, you can see that at night, so the moon is basically void, of course, all day today until at night, so 8.06 p.m., that specific standard time, 11.06 p.m., Eastern Standard Time. So when the moon is void, of course, it's a good time to just do mundane chores and things like that, not really initiate new things. It's time to dream. This is whenever the moon is in Pisces, it's the strongest dreaming time of the month. I know my dreams have been incredibly powerful and strong and clear for the last three days or so. Um, so you might want to tune into that, but I just realized that the moon has been also void, of course, from the 17th to the 20th. I happened to look that up and went, ah. So now I'm gonna check dreaming with the void of course moon so the moon then squares the sun we are a week away uh, on november the 30th from a not very big lunar eclipse and eight degrees of gemini but you know we're getting there and we're heading into november december eclipse season this year so you know go out at night look at the stars ask about what your higher purpose is that's really sagittarius right and wait till you get the message and then ask for that in your dreams before you go to sleep at night. So do, definitely do some dream incubation tonight. Okay, so Pisces, Sag, you know, um, they square each other, they're attracted to each other, you know. And then the moon in Pisces trines Venus and Scorpio. Now that happens in uh, Pacific Standard Time and then it happens, you know, earlier in the morning on the 22nd uh, in Eastern daylight. Sorry, Eastern Standard Time. All right. And November 22nd on 2020, I just want to mention that is a big numerological day. 1122 in a 22 year. It's just like 1111, but even on a higher octave. So just putting that out there for you. Um, Venus and Scorpio, of course, also back to Venus and Scorpio, also benefits all the water signs. So 
Cancer, Pisces also get some love there. So you want to check out where is Venus and Scorpio in your chart to find out where your desires, your romantic ideas, your creativity needs to come through over this next while. And of course, the sun lights up that part of your chart, that's Sagittarius. I'm going to be giving um, a live lecture on the 28th for the Astrology Association of Niagara on Facebook from uh, 2 to 4.30. So if you want to check that out, I'm going to be talking about astrology and tarot. So check them out on Facebook. If you want to get in touch with me, I'm at tarotarot.com. Please uh, subscribe to me here on YouTube. Follow me on my blog at infinitynow.wordpress.com. I'm on Instagram and Twitter too. Many blessings. Happy Sagittarius season.